Prior to the arrival of MFE formwork, it is important that an area of the site is identified and prepared for the safe unloading and storage of the formwork. Upon arrival of the materials at the project site, pallets are unloaded and located in the designated area. Materials on each pallet are checked off by an MFE representative and the client who then signs off that all materials listed on the MFE materials received document has been delivered. It's important to ensure all small accessories such as pins, wedges, wall ties and sleeves are stored safely and only distributed onto the working levels as and when necessary. Once the goods have been checked off, the formwork panels should be stacked in order of the sequence they are required on the working level. After the working slab concrete levels have been completed, all setting out lines should be marked as per dimensions shown on MFE's approved shell plan. It's advisable a 300mm offset line should also be marked on the slab to assist in checking formwork alignment. Prior to the erection of the formwork, it is important that a suitable form oil is applied to the contact surface of the formwork, including side rails of every component, to avoid the concrete sticking to the formwork panel. The erection of the wall formwork will commence from one corner of the wall elevation, installing the wall ties progressively as the wall panels are being pinned and wedged together. The flat wall ties should also be coated with form oil prior to installation to allow for ease of removal. Once one side of the wall panels has been installed, including positioning of the sleeves over the flat wall ties, opposite sides can begin. Once wall panels have been installed, bulkhead covers to window and door openings can be closed. Staircases to be installed in the following order. 1. Installation of the lower wall panels. 2. Installation of the staircase soffit panels and props. 3. Installation of the upper wall panels. 4. Insertion of the stair gusset panels. 5. Installing the side stringers. And finally, inserting the stair risers and tread covers. Upon completion of erection of the wall panels, work on the slab soffit formwork will commence. The sequence of installation of the slab begins by first installing the soffit corners, followed by the soffit lengths to all areas. At this stage, the main support beam for the slab formwork needs to be assembled. This involves taking the end beam, mid beam and the prop head and linking them together using two beam bars and 132mm pins. When commencing installation of the slab formwork, start with a deck panel at each corner of the room and then insert the main support beams, including props. Remaining slab panels will be erected as shown. Kickers will then be located and fixed into position on top of the external walls, including positioning of kicker bolts, used as a means of anchoring the kickers to the concrete structure while placement of the reinforcement to beams and vertical slabs, the formwork team are utilized checking the vertical alignment of the formwork and props and also the leveling of the slab soffit. This includes positioning of door spaces, vertical soldiers that controls the alignment of the kickers, providing good alignment of the wall formwork on the next level. During this stage of the works, the supervisor in charge of the formwork erection must do an inspection, ensuring all formwork components, including accessories, have been securely fixed and are in their correct location. Pre-pour inspection document advises on all the necessary checks to be carried out prior to the pouring of concrete. Once these checks have been completed, verified and also signed off, only then can placement of concrete begin. Removal of the wall formwork can commence 12 hours after completion of the concreting, 
provided the concrete has attained a strength of 2 newtons per millimeter square. Wall panels can be removed with relative ease, using MFE's panel puller starting from one corner of the room. During removal of the wall panels, the contact surface and edge rail must be cleaned and then positioned by location and sequence for the next level. When striking the formwork components at opening areas, always ensure supporting props are not disturbed and remain in their correct position. Wall ties and sleeves must be removed from the walls within a 24-hour period. Dismantling of the slab formwork can only commence when the concrete has attained a strength of 10 newtons per millimeter square. This is normally achieved after 36 hours, depending on the grade of concrete used. MFE advises that concrete cube samples be taken from the concrete supply on the day of placement and tested to ensure the concrete has attained adequate strength prior to dismantling of the slab formwork. When striking the slab formwork, ensure none of the components free fall, causing injury to fellow workers or damage to components. During dismantling, ensure props supporting the slab are not disturbed and remain in their position. Again, contact face and edges must be cleaned immediately, then positioned by location and sequence for the next level. It's important a team of workers are identified and trained in the erection and moving of the working platform brackets. The working platform team must be provided with all the proper safety equipment. As the wall formwork is being removed, installation of the working platform brackets can commence. When installing the brackets, they must be positioned in the locations indicated on MFE drawings provided and secured using a DWDAG scaffold rod at a maximum span of 1.2 meters. As one team progresses, installing the brackets, a second team will follow behind placing support runners and plywood decking, including the installation of safety rails and tow boards. After the concrete slab has been poured, and prior to transferring the formwork from the lower level to the new working level, the surveying team will transfer the main control points for setting out positions of the wall formwork. Survey team will then check levels of the working slab to ensure they are within specified tolerances and special care must be given to the corners of the building to maintain the verticality of the structure, including checking of the kicker levels. Setting up the wall panels on the upper floor follows the same method as the floor below. However, the sequence changes slightly as you have to erect the external wall formwork first, placing the panels on top of the kickers. The erection of the slab or deck panels follows the same method as the floor below. MFE supplies two levels of working platform brackets, and the installation of the second level follows the same procedure as the level below. It should be noted that a complete working platform system not only provides a safe working area for those on the working level, but also for other trades following behind on lower levels. This sequence of work repeats as the formwork moves from floor to floor. The procedures shown in this animation are meant to assist you in the training of your staff and workforce. But always remember, even when our technical support team has left your site, we will always provide additional help and assistance should that be required. MFE Formwork, your aluminium formwork specialists in building success.